Mexico's been good, man. I like it. I, uh, it might be in the nice area, and it might be in different areas, but the area that we're at, I like it. It's nice. Lots of trees. Been walking around everywhere. We did a pyramid yesterday. So, uh, it's been beautiful so far. Okay. Um, I think that you're gonna have like a, a couple of, I don't know, hours free today, maybe tomorrow, uh, to do some sightseeing. Um, are there any plans on that? Today? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm doing a scavenger hunt. If you guys are seeing this today, we might still have time at 2 p.m. today. I'm gonna go to a certain location somewhere in Mexico City. Go live on my Instagram. I'm sure where I'm at. And then from there, whatever fans find me, I'm gonna give them two tickets to the fight. Maybe some swag, you know, some, some gear or something. So be a good little little treat for the fans. You know, something to give back. I don't have any family here in Mexico City, so I don't I don't have anything to do with the tickets. You know, I can't give the tickets to my family, so I might as well give them to some fans. You know? All right. Well, then talking about the fight, um, what can you expect from your opponent? I mean, he's undefeated. Uh, there's beginning to be a little bit of hype behind him. Um, what are your thoughts on the actual fight? He's uh, he's got a little hype starting to build. He's uh, undefeated. I respect him as a fighter. I think I think I see myself I'm better than him in uh, most areas. You know, he's strong. I say he's very long, lanky limbs, and then he uses his limbs, his long reach, he's got a reach advantage from most guys. So he uses that in the striking, and then when he gets on the ground, he uses that as well to tie you up and try to submit you. Uh, I plan on staying where I'm comfortable in the striking area, like I always do, to put them away. My my goal in this fight is really putting on like a dazzling performance. You know, I've got those like kind of that UFC excitement that I did in my in my UFC debut again. Where I want to go out there and just show the fans some crazy shit that they've never seen again. I'm not thinking so much about have to get the job done. Have I have to climb my way up the rankings. It's not so much a job for me as it is. I want to go and entertain the fans. All right. Um, it's actually great that you mentioned that because uh, Mexican fans love that. We have a, a big culture of boxing and we have a long story of uh, strikers and people that just bite their mouthpiece and go for it. So we would really appreciate uh, a fight like that. And we were actually saying that this might be the fight that uh, could be like under the radar for some people that are not that well informed. But we're actually looking forward to uh, a slug fest. So. That, that's probably Probably part of it, you know what I mean. Um, it's something that's just in me, timing-wise. I have that urge to go out there and perform. And then it's also maybe being in Mexico City, which you said the culture and the background, the history of so many great Mexican boxers, and, and uh, how much the Mexican fans love a great fight, a gritty fight. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna give you guys a gritty fight, but I'm gonna give you guys an exciting fight. All right, man. That's all I can ask for. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take less, but I'm gonna put out a lot of punches. Yeah.